Hello YouTube, it's Techmaster here, and today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm going to be doing my point of view on XSplit. I was asked to do this by Freedom, my partner now in YouTube, and it's supposed, it's going to be, it's supposed to be just like a view thing so that people see XSplit and learn about it and I just wanted I decided why not I use XSplit enough to record YouTube videos that I don't feel like adding things on in the after time and then to live stream with and so I know I always had a problem with trying to find what the best things were and what people use because it, it seems just like people don't give that out and so I'm decided to share that with you so you have all these things at the top that instantly draw your attention and first one is obviously file now these presentations correspond to these scenes I believe and each scene can have a preset and a save and when you go save presentation it will save all of your scenes and even if you go new presentation and it wipes everything out you can just load it so the next thing on here is a video camera so you can add a camera hello everybody and um it's just webcam able to be used uh, there's different settings that you can use, I'm not going to go into those, um, but I'm going to also remove that. But then the next file is, or the next thing in file is add media file. So I just added a cool thing that I found online, and it works. I can have it behind this, and you can see it on the edges. Obviously you're going to see it on every edge because reasons the mirror effect um shall so remove that now screen region which is what i'm currently using to get everything from here all the way down here where you can't really see my mouse um and that rec lets you record anything except for full screen games so that does not allow you to record full screen games which is not very good it's quite annoying. Um, IP camera, I'm not really sure what this does, but I'm sure someone can tell me what it does in the, uh, what's comments below. There we go. Uh, the next one is add game, and this is important if you're going to do any full screen gaming. So, obviously, I love, uh, League of Legends, and when I decide to play League of Legends, I can either use Fraps, which just records League of Legends itself, or I can use this, which has League of Legends, and then I'm just going to switch this over, but I can then also add this thing that I'm turning on and off right now, down that allows me to go and have borders around things in-game, and if you've seen any of my Twitch stuff, you'll see this come up when I'm over I'm playing League. So, that's just a fun thing that you can actually do now, and you don't have to add that in afterwards. Um, you can add Skype videos, that's kind of self-explanatory, and you can add titles, this is an extra thing that I downloaded and you can just type in whatever. I'm just gonna leave it tile text. You can choose your font, your color, your style, how opa opaque it is, uh, its alignment, and everything else you see in there. And then you have that there. Um, obviously, this is gonna bug out because of the way that it works, but it's a title, so it works and if I just turn that off you won't be able to see everything but you can see the title which is the important part and not an annoying thing 
Uh, um, so more sources, this is where you get some of them. There's not very many, but I'm sure there's some other way to find them and get new ones. There's exit, of course. Then you have your view, which is your resolution, your FPS, um, your transition, which was what you saw when I went to my league preset, uh, this wave right here. And you can have it as all of these different things. You can set your transition speed. I'm not sure about the projectors, but hide viewport, scale viewport. Um, and then here we come to the broadcast. This is what one of the main things other than file that you're going to be using. Um, you have this, which is any channel or account that you have added to live stream with and then you're going to have this which is local recording which is what I'm currently doing I'm not live streaming this to the world I'm just putting it out there to you guys so then we have announced not really sure what this does either but then we can look at what recordings I have and then we can also look at delay server now this is a beta thing I'm not sure what it exactly does so and then now you have all your help things places to ask about stuff so well I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, leave a like and comment if you want more videos if You've been waiting for videos for the past two months when I haven't been able to put any videos out. Don't worry, they are coming soon, I hope. Um, there's just a few more things that I have to get set up before I can actually start doing that, like, a lot. So, and to Freedom, thank you for watching for my... Uh, exploit membership thing and to all of you I'll see you next time bye